Hi friends, it's Miss Emily from the main branch of the Charleston County Public Library coming at you today with another seasonal STEM. Now it's November, the temperatures are starting to cool down and I don't know about you, but one thing I always think about when I think about fall, November, is hay rides and corn mazes. One of my favorite things about fall, especially from where I'm from up north. So today, in honor of that, we are going to do a science experiment where we are going to make popping corn dance, and we're going to use the power of science to do so. For this experiment, it is two cups of water poured into a tall glass or jar. A mason jar works really well. I've also put it on a plate just to make sure that if there is any mess, it's easy cleanup. Vinegar, popping corn, baking soda, and food coloring. Pick your favorite color. So after you've measured the two cups of water, we're then going to add two tablespoons of baking soda. And then we're gonna stir it and mix it up with the water thoroughly. So until it pretty much dissolves into the water. Then we're gonna add a drop of food coloring and mix it again, stir it up. Next, we're gonna add an eighth to a quarter cup of popping kernels. You don't have to add a whole quarter cup if you don't have that on hand. I'm going to since we have it available. Put that into the water, baking soda, food coloring mixture. Nothing's happened yet because we haven't added the magic ingredient, the vinegar. Then we're gonna add a cup of vinegar and I'm going to stop and we're going to change the view so that you can see what happens the minute I add the vinegar. All right, so now that we've got a close up on the jar, we're gonna take our cup of vinegar and add it slowly to the mixture and see what happens. Starting to see a reaction. You see the popcorn rising and then falling. going to do that continuously for about 30 minutes and maybe even longer depending on how much vinegar you've added and how much baking soda you had. I'm going to add the whole cup so we can continue to watch it. This is why you add it slowly so it doesn't overrate to come up the jar. But you're going to have this popcorn dancing for the next 30 minutes. Now for the science behind it. So chemistry is all about the states of matter, liquids, solids, and gases. A chemical reaction occurs between two or more substances that change and form a new substance. So when we have an acid like vinegar and a base like baking soda and they're combined, they make a gas called carbon dioxide. That produces that eruption and that bubbling that you can see as well as the dancing action. So the baking soda and vinegar reaction, the carbon di dioxide bubbles lift the corn, but when the bubbles pop at the top of the jar, the corn falls back down. And then the carbon dioxide that's still in the jar causes that to happen all over again. You can watch this experiment repeat itself over and over again. Probably can't see it as well from this viewpoint, but it is still going. Um, I'm gonna sit here and enjoy it and watch it, maybe do a dance myself. 
Uh, I hope you guys are able to do this experiment at home and you have a great time doing it. And I thank you for joining in for watching with me. And I hope to see you again soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.